you're a cat burglar, huh? Well, I'm not really a cat person. Woof. There's no need to worry. Underdog is furry. Now that's not it. Stop saying dumbass things. What do you say? <laughs> Disney's Underdog is genuinely one of the worst movies I've ever seen. The dialogue in this movie feels like your average video essay. Like, it's so lifeless, so monotone, and like, they question the viewer's intelligence by like, spitting all this information that we can already tell from context clues. It's so bad. As a kid, I used to love this movie. I used to like, watch this movie all the time when I was like 12 or 13, however young. But as an adult, I'm starting to realize my child self was kind of stupid as fuck. I thought re-watching this movie, I'd find some sort of enjoyment or maybe some sort of like nostalgic feeling I got when watching this movie, but all I got was a waste of time. The comedy in this movie, <laughs> oh my God, I wanna die. The comedy in this movie is like so low hanging that it felt like I never even tied the rope. I wish I could say the music was at least a saving grace for this movie, but it's absolutely not. This movie released in 2005, and that was kind of the era to where like, you know, punk rock, pop rock, uh, my era, the emo era, was kind of like getting popular, okay? The like 2000, late 2000s to like um, 2010s. That's the sort of era I like, and that's the music I like. And so they decided to do a remix of the underdog song, both a rap cover and also a pop punk song, and holy fuck. <laughs> The rock cover is trying so hard, so hard to create a moment from this song and the singer, the singer's just so mid, it's, it's not working out. Which is kind of a shame because the instrumental kind of goes off, like the guitar riffs, um, the drums, they're kind of punchy, like I really do enjoy this instrumental, it's just the vocalist, it's bringing it down to like that mediocre, I'm gonna forget this song as soon as I hear it. But I gotta give that cover just a little, a little tiny bit of respect because the rap cover is awful as hell. The rap remix of Underdog sounds like the whitest Disney executive saw a black person, Corey Baxter, or I think that's what his name is, and they were just like, you're black, right? You can rap. I gotta make this clear, this is no hate to the kid at the time who was making this song, it's just very clear, white people wanted this song. <laughs> I know I'm hating so much, but it sounds like Corey Baxter, the kid who's rapping this song, it sounds like their only reference was like, Vanilla Ice. <laughs> That's at least better than what I can say for the CGI. The CGI in this movie, it's like, even of the time, 2005, when CGI was really popping off with Alvin and the Chipmunks, uh, Yogi Bear, that's that's mainly like later on, but still, it's, it's not too good. <laughs> JPEG and they just enlarged it in space. Oh my god. I didn't realize that until now <laughs> By the way, whenever I'm criticizing bad animation or I find an animation or CGI is bad I'm never trying to like hate on the artist or the people behind the product Like I get you're getting paid almost nothing. So that's the job you do but at the same time like if you do a bad job you do a bad job, I'm gonna criticize it. I'm not gonna like, give you brownie points for it. Now going into the story. This story is about a beagle that gets superpowers. That's all I can say. <laughs> this movie does have a sort of police side story, I guess, but like, 
it's non-existent like there's no point for it to even exist it also has a sort of romance arc but it's so it's so fucking stupid when you take a second to realize how dumb these characters are it's so stupid the perfect spot for dinner on the fly there's only one meatball why don't you have it oh no thanks i'm on a diet no i i insist uh oh I'm so mad because they did a Lady in the Tramp reference and it's pissing me off. <laughs> the main plot of this story is that a dog becomes super from a mad scientist. And the mad scientist ends up losing everything because the dog wrecks his establishment. And, <laughs> and the dog goes to a nice home and ends up realizing, wow, I got superpowers. And now he starts saving the city. And after a while, he ends up getting caught by the mad scientist. He ends up getting caught by the mad scientist, loses his powers, and then now the mad scientist gives <laughs> gives powers to other dogs and himself. And underdog ends up getting his powers back and saving the world. Uh, it's, it's it's fucking stupid. The last leg of this movie is where it becomes super super stupid and starts to realize, wow, we kind of fucked up the plot and now now we have to tie things back together and it doesn't work it also does the old switcheroo to where the main character dies and everyone's just like oh my god the main character is dead but surprise surprise they're alive like oh my god i swear to god they don't understand why that works like they just spam it they don't really understand its usefulness the reason why this bait and switch is never effective is because one your characters aren't interesting we don't care about them and two we know that you want money so you're not gonna kill off the main character just because if it gets successful then you can't make it a franchise so why do you even do it you're not you're not taking risks this goes for about anything but when you create safety and mediocrity in your dialogue your characters your story then the audience has nothing else to expect but like safety taking a risk is so necessary in order to create good stories good characters good dialogue like you have to have some sort of risk in your movie or else it's just gonna be the norm and the norm isn't fun for anybody without a shadow of a doubt i have to give the underdog movie a solid zero the score is average the music is pretty mediocre to bad the cgi is just it's so bad i hate this era i hate this era so much the acting and dialogue in this movie it's so it's so subpar it's so bad it's like it's at such a low low point it's like nobody almost nobody in this movie knows how to deliver a line story is absolute nonsense and worst of all this movie is not interesting in the slightest. But that's all I have to say. Anyway, how's it going, pups? It's a canine. I hate myself, and I'm 